today. Okay, so before we get into this morning's stand-up, it's taking a while to, okay, it started recording. So before we go into this morning's stand-up, I just really want to give you guys a rundown of the schedule for this week. Okay, I want to give you a rundown of the schedule and I'm going to just put a link to the schedule so you can also check it as well. Okay, so today, today is Wednesday, so we are going to have a couple of tutorials that are very important and are very necessary for you to be a part, okay? So at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. UTC, you are going to have a tutorial plus discussion with Arun on career philosophy and how to decide which track to pursue. Because as we had said, you guys are going to work on your profiles, you know, and everything Wednesday to Friday of this week. So you are going to have a discussion with Aaron, okay? And um, then at 11 to 12, profiles Q&A, okay? So basically, it's just um, a time where you can ask about anything, you know, do anything, and just, sorry, one minute. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. My, yes, yeah, some, someone was knocking. Anyway, so as I was saying, at 11 to 12, we're going to have profiles, Q, Q and A. And then at 12 to 1, we are going to have um, the Ask Me Anything community building session. And we're going to have Malet, okay? So Malet is from the 10 Academy team. I know that you guys know her. She has been very helpful, very resourceful. So now really is the time for you to just have a chat with her and get to know Malet a little bit better. Okay, and then at 1 to 2 p.m. UTC, there's going to be another tutorial, how to ask questions, okay? And then by 8 p.m. UTC, we want to believe that all trainees must have had a mature profile, okay? So that is just the update of what is going to happen. That is just the update of what is going to happen this week. So I am looking forward to everyone being a part and just, you know, let us get week 10 done and dusted, okay? So let us get into, okay, Malet has raised the hand. Okay, Malet. So before you start, let me announce one thing from the AWS. Side, if they have, uh, yes, 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 my So go ahead. Uh, data on all notebooks and all data. Folder on the AWS. Instance, uh, they should have. Have to take a backup. They should have to take a backup for that, and we will go to close the AWS one hour after the standard. Hello. Morning. Uh, Morning. There is a group when you are speaking. Am I the one or? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, right now is good. So it's just about the AWS instance issue, so you can back up your all notebook folders and all the data folder from the AWS instance. Um, Malet, um, Fumbani has raised um, a well, a question about you breaking up, and I have to be honest, you were breaking as well, but I thought my internet was just a bit crazy this morning. So, okay, same with Jacinda. So, Malet, um, can you just speak a little bit louder and then go over what you said for everyone? Because I thought the problem was just on my end, okay? From my side, can Yes. Back 
backup or for your all notebooks and all data folders from the AWS instance. We will go to close them one of hour after this stand up. Okay. Yeah, okay, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Malet. But um, I, um, I think it would be better if you could also tag it okay in the announcement channel so that we could see it. Okay. Yes, right thank you. Thank you so much, Mallet. Okay, so without wasting much time, um, today, after the presentations yesterday, we were impressed, okay? Like, we really were impressed, and I know that you guys are also and everything that you were able to accomplish together as a team, you know, individually, what you worked on, what you learned, okay? You know, the instances you were able to try and just test and the outcomes that you got. So this morning, we really want to know um, one highlight of the entire week 9 and 10 project, okay? One highlight for you personally, one good thing about it, and also one thing you learned, so one highlights the top moment for you, okay? And then one lesson you learned, or probably a skill that you picked up, okay? And um, we would really love as well for you to just give us a little rundown on your profiles, how that is going, because guys, we're almost at the end of this training and we need, we need you guys on board, okay? So I am going to start with, let us start with Bethlehem, okay? Bethlehem, good morning. Good morning, Gatti. Hi, everyone. I'm good. So I think about last week, one thing that I learned is that uh, I didn't know much about the technologies that we have used, but I think I now have uh, the understanding about what each of those work and a good understanding about some of them as well. And apart from that, uh, as I have said it last time, I think my profile is somehow good. I have done uh, it again as per um, suggestions, but I think I need to do it today as well. So I'm ready for that. Okay, okay, so that's good. So um, let's get the next person. I'm going to do the selection this morning, at least for now. But thank you so much, Bethlehem. So next on my list, let's get um, something from a guy. And Nail Sisi, you are on the hot seat this morning. Nail Sisi. OK, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. OK, so uh, for the past week was a little bit of uh, hardship and fun also. So uh, there were many technologies to learn and get familiar with. And uh, I think I have a basic understanding of them. Uh, one thing I really like uh, was uh, the team spirit and uh, dividing up the tasks uh, more manageably and uh, work on them together. So I think that's for me. Okay, so where are we on your profile? How is that looking like? Okay, so the profile, uh, there are some things to uh, fix, uh, but overall it's kind of uh, nice, I guess. But I will add more on it and there are some fixes to do. Okay, okay, so, um, by the end of today, we would really love for you to get um, your profile done and dusted as best as possible, okay? So just be a part of the Q&A and the tutorial, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so the next person I would love to hear from this morning is uh, Steshi. Uh, morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I'm doing okay.
Okay, so we'd love to know one highlight of what you did last week where week 9 and week 10 a highlight, okay? Something that you really liked, something that you were proud of, okay? And then probably there's a lesson you learned, probably you did a mistake and then you learned from it or you learned how to use a new tool or new instance, anything, okay? And then just give us a little heads up on your profile, how it's going so far. Uh, are you able to hear me? Hello? Is it just me or is there she dull or I can't hear anything? Am I, I think the only one? It's very faint. I, I can hear, but it was very faint, is there she? Oh. Uh. How about? Okay. Now it's coming. Okay. So uh, I've, actually, I've had a good week, uh, my team and I, and uh, we've learned uh, a lot of things regarding uh, data engineering, uh, using the new tools for streaming. And uh, yeah, it's been very exciting to work with my team and learn uh, everything we've learned this week. And uh, my highlight has actually been uh, working with uh, with my group. It works very well and I learned a lot. Uh, regarding my profile, uh, it was okay the last time. I think it, it still needs polishing, but uh, yeah, I'd submitted and it was okay. Okay, Stacey, thank you for that. Thank you. Um, so the next question, let's get another guy. Let's hear from Sim. Sim Michael, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Yati. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm doing good this morning. Um, I th there was a lot to learn during this week, I think. And it's been interesting figuring things out. I think it's a bit more different from the other challenges in that we had to figure out a lot of things and having a team I think is was helpful in that regard because we can divide the things that we have to figure out and so that was nice um, on the profile I do have a list of things that uh, I want to fix or change and I will be trying to get through them today but I don't know if I'll have the time to have a completely polished profile at the end of the day because some of it takes time, but I will be trying my best. Uh, thank you. Okay. Okay. So it's nice to hear that um, the team helped you, that the team together worked and you learned a lot. Um, on the profiles, um, it's not that we need you to get a perfectly polished profile. Um, okay, so I'm saying you have a question in the chat box, but then quickly before you answer, on the profile, you don't need to get a perfectly polished profile, but then just something better than the last submission, okay? Because it's going to be um, an iterative process. But you have a question in the chat box. And to the question about the submission, I wouldn't, I would say, yeah, that I'm, not, you feel I'm not entirely happy thing. with the submission, just that we weren't able to do what we, everything that we envisioned to do at the start of the week, or that was planned as well as we had hoped. And I don't think there could be any way that I could feel happy about it without all of it being done in every single way that we thought of, but I don't know. I, I don't, on the positive side, at least there is something that works that is able to collect the, the data, but it's not as a robust solution that I think was envisioned at least. Does that 
I think that answers the question. Should I say more? I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you've seen the message in the chat box. Okay, thank you so much, Sam. So, um, okay. Um, so the next person, I let's hear from um, another lady, Jerusalem, because you are a team lead. Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, okay. Uh, okay, so where should we, should I start? From the profile or overall the, the past two weeks? Anyway, okay, let me start with the profile. Uh, last time I have submitted my profile and there are a couple of feedbacks. So for this week I'll be I'll be working with the profile. And uh, for the project, uh, of course it wasn't that much satisfying, but at least we got some t uh, somewhat uh, conf we got some confidence related to data engineering. And also we are also left with a lot of things, and so we know that we don't know. Mm from data engineering related things. And uh, yeah, overall it was good. Okay, so um, how did you feel about what you submitted yesterday? What you guys submitted yesterday? Uh, we, uh, we've, uh, we submitted uh, the front end, the Kafka, uh, just successfully, except the Spark uh, wasn't uh, almost successful. It was just a start, it wasn't complete. And also the air faulting. So those both things, we have to work more on it. Uh, also for the next time, uh, we have to, it just, just teach us, taught us that we have to read and also practice more on the Spark and air faulting uh, because it's, Spark uh, itself is a big uh, course, so it tells me that uh, related to data engineering, we have to know Spark. So it tells me this. There was one, to, sorry, sorry for joining late. Hi, everyone. Okay. To what extent did last week's challenge give you, help you understand how all the different pieces of the workflow fit together? Uh, uh, it, it just first it tells you that we have to be integrated uh, because it really matters. The integration really matters, um, and also uh, it just gives me some confidence to work on the data engineering. And also, uh, I was also interested just in data engineering uh, field, so that's all I can say. I was interested in data engineering, and also eager to learn. More of that. But to what to answer to ask the same question again, to what extent did it give you a better sense of how the different pieces fit together? Mm, like um, can you Well, I think I think that was one of the major points of the challenge, right? That when you the this is almost the breadth of the T shape that you understand how all of the different pieces fit together, even if you're not responsible for all of the pieces. You understand what they are, what they do, how they work together. Yeah. When you get your job, you go deeper into one of them. Yeah, yeah. The first thing is why when we were working, we was first working on Kafka. We were trying to resolve what Kafka is and how are we going to proceed from Kafka to the last Spark thing. So, yeah, it was we were integrating as much as possible, except that. Uh, we wasn't able to continue with the Spark thing. We weren't able to do that. So, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we were integrating as much as possible. Uh, right. Maybe I, I, I don't think I understand. I just want to rephrase the question. Um, in a way, I think you are answering obviously a different question. Do you understand the pieces, the different pieces? It's like, 
Yeah, so, yeah, I do. And do you appreciate, of like, do you have, like, some understanding of what each piece are? And, you know, forget what, what you managed to do and what you didn't. But just in terms of, like, learning how, what each component, you know, their responsibility, what they do, their role, and where they are used. Do you have yeah, a grasp we, of that? Of course, we were meeting, we were just, we all, we was having two meetings per day. So everyone was presenting their tasks and also we were discussing each other on how to uh, proceed. Just to, we were also discussing the workflow of the project. So I think if I, oh, I don't understand your question if this solves you. I don't know. So the, so I, I'll just say it again. I think, and I think this is an important point for everyone. You can't in three months. You can't learn everything. There's no doubt about that. You can't become an expert in anything. But we want to make sure people. We have touched all of the different relevant components that you are likely to experience when you get to work. And so, even if you don't know how to use them, understanding what those components are and what they do is um, it's important. So the question was, to what extent did this project help with that? So what does Kafka do? What does Airflow do? What does Spark do? How are they relevant to building the pipeline? Um, an un unstructured or the unprocessed data bucket versus the processed data bucket, did this week's challenge help? And I mean, someone else can unmute and also answer if they want to. We don't need to put Jerusalem on the spot. But if anyone else wants to unmute and just answer, I see Jakinda is unmuted. Ewell is unmuted. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, everyone. Morning, Jakinda. Uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, for me and uh, for our group, I think uh, we did a lot of extensive reading. And uh, personally, I think I've understood how Kafka, uh, the concept of producer. You hear Jakinda? Well? Yeah. Uh, am I audible? You're, you're audible. Maybe you can scream. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, I'm saying that personally, uh, it was a good experience you, because... We can, we, we can hear you now. This is your Matatu voice. Oh, my days. You brought the Matatu thing again? Okay. Anyway, so uh, it, was a, it was a good experience because... Uh, I've understood what Kafka does, how it uh, it communicates with uh, how you can produce something, consume it. And also I've understood uh, what Airflow does with the uh, scheduling and everything. Uh, I've also understood uh, the bigger picture, yeah. I think the bigger picture is home and uh, the different components that we've been using and learning. So I, I, I believe with the with the knowledge that I have go, when, it's, when it comes to going deeper in a field of work, I think uh, I know where to start, and uh, I don't think I'll get lost. So yeah. Yul, you have your hand up too. Thanks, Jaganda. Yul. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, this week it uh, really opened my eyes on how. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So it opened my eyes about what uh, data engineering overall looks like. I, I assumed it was a bit different in my imagination. Now I can understand how the workflows are, what data engineering are, and now I can clearly think as a career. And yeah, uh, for me, when we start the project, I was a bit uh, running behind because I have uh, final examinations aside. So I was, a feel, uh, I was a bit uh, running late, but I didn't manage uh, to do my tasks. And uh, I'd like also to shout out for our team leader, Deborah. Uh, she was really uh, good at it naturally. And we did manage uh, to do almost all of the tasks. There are something left, but... And yeah, from uh, uh, last... Uh, last night's uh, presentation uh, i also learned more on what i assumed i understand and that really also helped me to overall what every component uh, how they works and how they look like 
and yeah, I have now a bigger picture of what data engineering and what all the components are. Thank you. Yeah, Tiana, over to you. Okay, yeah. So, um, okay, Smen, she raised your hand, so go ahead. Okay, good morning, all. Good morning, how are you? So, oh, on my side, I understand that I'm fine. So can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. So on my side, so from the this week challenge, I understand the, the flow and how and when I use the three uh, apps, I, I mean, app uh, as well as uh, I, I understand now the, clearly the what the data science and the data engineer also the difference between them. Sorry, I didn't get the last part. She understands the difference between a data science scientist and a data engineer. Oh, okay. okay. So, important question for me, Smench. Do you know which, which career track you want to pursue? So for the time being, I think I, I will go through the ML part, machine learning. Okay. And the data science. So because for the data engineering, I think I have some some gaps. <laughs> some in the technical part, how to manage things. Uh, yeah. yeah, Tiana? Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for that, Smench. Um, I think we have time for one more person, just one more person, and then that's a wrap. Okay, Beza, go ahead. How are you this morning? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, for Aaron's question, uh, I actually learned a lot uh, uh, the past uh, week, and these two days so our team did well and everyone's amazed me like with their uh, how to do things and like being wise to uh, accomplish our tasks and everyone like uh, like uh, some people are busy on their side but still manage to do what they're supposed to do that was the the most amazing thing i have seen and the whole team was uh, great like i have learned like te uh, like technically and even non-technically like how people proceed to do things and other than that uh with the projects that especially the three tools i was uh, like yesterday i was presenting on that too though i know people uh, have learned on that it's like a new technology emerging but you can like e every time if there is something new you can manage to learn and somehow uh, even if it's not completed you can learn and do things that you're supposed to do. Uh, Kafka, like topics, uh, producer, consumer, and Spark, and how Airflow is supposed to work. I have learned a lot on that week. So that's on the technical side. Other than that, I have this question. Like, uh, there was a submission yesterday. I didn't get a link. And also, I think Fumbani didn't get, I just get Fumbani and also Dorothy. I have checked everyone from my team and we didn't get the link. We'll sort that out. If there's an issue, it seems like there's very clearly a Google Classroom issue, so we'll sort that out. Okay, thank yeah. you. So but it's also just actually in the documentation, it says to be added. So not, um, so that's our fault. And we should have. Yeah, we but, did check the documentation yeah. too, yeah. You guys can, we, we lose 10% of our grade. Sorry for that. No, that's that's bad on our side, but we'll we'll sort that out. 
Okay, so thank you for using that um, up Fumbani and Beza, and um, we're going to try to sort it out, okay? Um, we have one out of time. Okay, Malet. Okay, just to add one thing or to remind you, we have left the final submission because you have submitted almost similar GitHub link, so that's why we are we left the final submission uh, classroom creation stuff for the assignment. Maybe just for the sake of clarity, we'll make an announcement in the announcements channel, and that that'll be the um, just for the sake of clarity. Okay. 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 So we are out of time. Okay. So I have sent the link. Well, I had sent it earlier, the link for the weekly schedule. Guys, please check it out because we have a couple of tutorials today and you really don't want to miss out on any. Okay. So um, wishing you guys all the best. Have a productive day today. Okay. I just want to, I just want to add one more plug. Uh, self. Uh -huh. I want to add one more plug. So I've already gotten one email saying that, okay, this week is, uh, I'm busy doing some other stuff. Everyone is here to get a job and we've purposely allocated these, three, it's not that these three days are not allocated. We've purposely allocated these three days to encourage everyone to have some free time to think about their careers. We are there to help, um, but we are not, I just want to set the make the expectations very, very, very clear. No, it's very unlikely. We are not able to drop jobs into anyone's lap. So it's not the case that you will get an offer to sign. We are there to support your preparation and to link you up with employers who are looking, but it requires a lot of work and thinking and planning from your side as well. So I would really encourage everyone who is here who actually wants to get a job to frame their expectations for the next three days that it's actually work that needs to get done. It's probably up activating a different side of your mind, but please do not expect that on the 4th of October you will get a piece of paper to sign, that's your job offer, and um, then you get into the world of work. Our job is to tell, to give you our philosophy on employment, to give you guidance. Um, you've done a lot of the work up till now, but um, each and every person here will have to put in a significant amount of time and energy and thinking to match into the right type of job. And our job, our role is only to increase the probability or the likelihood of you finding a good job faster. And so I just, I just I, yeah. yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I, I want to add because this, this is, if there is some mis um, misunderstanding, I think of all the weeks that you have done, I would consider the next three days to be the most important in, in all aspects. It's, it's like you, you run analysis and analysis is, takes time, but the most important time sometimes is just to sit down and digest what you did and interpret. That is the difference between someone good and someone just, you know, not good. So if you really think this, the three days are just another, like, something just not that worthy, I think you probably then have misunderstanding. It's the most important. It's like whatever you have been doing so far, you have seen now a lot of things. Like you now, as many said, you probably have distinguished between different elements, what it means to be data engineer, and, and, and especially in corporate world, and what it means to do machine learning engineering, and what it means to be, uh, you know, it's kind of writing a code using different technologies. And now is the time, the next three days is the time to then sit and read more about career and work about like making sure you highlight the right part uh, in your portfolio. Because your portfolio, including not only your portfolio, even your GitHub, you must go back in these three days, edit in such a way that you communicate the type of image you want to send to any employer that wants. If you didn't write properly, get, you know, documentations before, like let's say README, this is the time to just go back and write that part. So it is your basically um, coming to just that reunion with yourself about what you actually want and in which track you want to go 
and you know one needs to be fixed from your portfolio because it's, it's about image uh, you're building your image so I just want to really emphasize that most important it's like writing the conclusion the summary and the claim of your work so just just making it very clear it's the most important three days probably all the training yeah, and so we've we've added some material to the careers manual. Um, two relevant sections are the descriptions of what an ML engineer and what a data engineer, what skills you should have. And the second is we've added a checklist on what is necessary um, for uh, the profile to be really um, at standard. Yeah, and so I think this is what, another just another framework I want to introduce, and we'll talk about this in the tutorial. Um, how many people here would be happy? if they got 85% of their salary instead of 100%, right? There's, there's, Christian would be happy. Okay, great. I'm going to hire Christian because that's super easy. Um, so in accounting, and the same is true when you apply for a job, 100% accurate. Well, so you, you asked a question. So when you when somebody is processing payroll, it has to be perfect. And perfect is the expected standard. And that means free of mistakes. They don't pay you late. They don't pay you extra. They don't pay you less. You get paid for everything that you were expected to get paid. And so the, the same is true when you send in a CV. It has to be, or in your profile, it has to be free of mistakes. So that's the standard that we're looking for. And the, the checklist helps give you um, things that you can look through, and each of you should be checking that. So we'll talk later on. We have our tutorial that's scheduled. Uh, Smench has a question. No, it's by mistake. Sorry. Okay. All right. You, 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 and I are going to have some good questions. Um, last point I will. Uh, last point I'll make is that there's some office hours that have been scheduled. So feel free to schedule those times. There's sometimes tomorrow, and there's sometimes on. Friday, um, and that's for individual career discussions. Yeah. Yati, over to you to wrap up. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for the for stepping in. I will thank you. You're always a lifesaver. Okay, guys. So um, as I had said, have a productive day today. Okay. So bye, guys. Let me stop the.